Oh, thank you for watching this video. In this video, I'm going to talk about uh, QuickBooks Online Inventory, how to import beginning inventory quantity in hand in QuickBooks Online. Just basically, you know, you you have you are maintaining Quick uh, inventory, and now you have subscribed to QuickBooks Online, and you want to uh, import your existing uh, uh, inventory uh, into QuickBooks. So how to do that? So that's the focus of this video. I did my uh, first uh, uh, QuickBooks Online inventory video over 10 years ago. And at that time, this uh, video was very, very popular. I was the first person to do this. And, uh, you know, uh, like over 40,000 views uh, for inventory. That's very huge. So anyway, I just thought uh, I'll do it again. Uh, I've done many QuickBooks Online inventory videos, so uh, I just thought do it again. And uh, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. So now I'm going to go to QuickBooks Online. Okay, so now you're on QuickBooks Online. And uh, in order to import the list, you need to go to the product and services on your dashboard you, your dashboard may look different but in my case is this is the money in at product and services you can go there from sales product services they have a couple of places so i'm just going to click here and you will see the list here so this is product and services and uh there are a couple of things that may not import if you are if you want to use location you have to do it uh uh you know separately and the same thing with class okay so next to new there is a drop arrow and then select import okay so this is where uh you know you you know you want to use it and i'm going to show you the spreadsheet i have okay so this is the spreadsheet i have and I have only two, you know, uh, but your case could be 50 or 100, you know. But if we have like, you know, uh, too many, like uh, 1,000 or something, just try to do it, you know, a uh, couple of times just to make sure everything looks okay and, you know, it's hard to do undo these things. Okay, so now I'm going to go to... Uh, uh, QuickBooks Online, back to QuickBooks Online again. Okay, so now, you know, you can use either Excel or the uh, Google Sheet. In my case, I'm just going to use the Google Sheet. Okay, I've uh, attached the Google Sheet in here, and uh, uh, it's in here. So I'm just going to click Next. Okay, so as you can see here, you know, these are the fields. You know, uh, I used all, all fields. In your case, it may be, you know, one or two less, you know. Uh, but these are the mapping fields you need. Okay, so when, as, when, whenever you see the check mark, you know, then you're ready to go. So in this case, the, the, the fields, you got the service name, your product name. Uh, this is for inventory. And SKU, if you have SKU assigned, and the type is uh, inventory. You know, type is inventory. And then uh, sales description, uh, sales price taxable or not taxable income account. Uh, so make sure it's the right income account from your chart of accounts and the product description, purchase description. That's the one it goes to your vendor when, when you are uh, uh, buying or issuing a purchase order. And the purchase cost is always at the, at your cost, not 
some uh, marked up, you know, type. Uh, make sure it's at cost, you know. Uh, the cost may include the shipping cost, you know, that type, uh, but not the profit margin type. Uh, expense account is, is where you want to, uh, uh, you know, charge whenever you invoice your customer, you will create your invoices, you know, it goes to, uh, that's where you will post your PL. And it comes from a chart of accounts. And expense account, and then quantity, and that's the one. You know how the, your quantity you are importing and reorder point if you know what you're doing and inventory asset account to make sure this is directly from your chart of account and it's there in your chart of account make sure these are already uh, uh, accounts you have in your chart of accounts and you can copy and paste it and the quantity as a date you know that's a starting point okay and then next Okay, so you got everything in here, and if you are overriding, you know, the quantity, and then you got to click this one, but in this case, these are new ones. And so this can't be undone, so make sure you are doing everything right. Okay, then I'm just going to import this. Okay, looks like it, it's done, and let's look at it how it impacts your PNL and balance sheet. Okay, so I'm just gonna run. So this is the one. I'll show you the. Uh, see, it's imported this, and uh, the other one was olive oil. So it's imported this right on. Okay. So now he's just gonna run the report and see how it came out transaction so by date I'm just going to run some report okay so I'm just going to change this to only today then we can see it Oh, it was the uh, starting point was four one. Okay. So that was the this date was I selected to use starting point. As you can see here, it's basically it looks like this. Hopefully you can see it. Uh, and uh, so uh, these are the ones, the starting one, you know. It added to at this point what happens is it all it does is the uh, it added to the uh, uh, opening balance equity account you know so it's uh let's just do it here okay so this is the this one example okay so it's what what in accounting wise let's see here John Jackson journal Okay, so I'm just, I'm the, I was gonna, so just gonna, I'm just gonna show you the debit and credit. What happens here? You know, this the, it will add to your asset, you know, current asset, thirty five hundred dollars, you know, and then it will go to your opening balance equity account, you know. So because uh, it's a starting point, and uh, so that's what they pick. So if you want it to some other account other than the uh, opening balance equity account, you know, you may have some reason, uh, then you need to talk to your uh, your uh, CPA to how to handle it. You know, basically, is it equity or, you know, you still owe some money to somebody or whatever, you know. So, so I'm not going to focus on that video today. Uh, so that's that's what's happening. So now whenever you sell it, create inventory, this balance will go down. You know, basically it will create your revenue with markup or, or loss even. And then the, the cost wise, it will go to the uh, uh, cost of goods sold or whatever account you've picked. 
Okay, so that's the focus of this video. Hope this is helpful to you. Okay, thank you. Bye.